Let's take a couple of minutes and we'll check out the SiriusXM operation on Pioneer's AVHX 2800BS. Please note, in this video, I'll be using the optional SXV300 tuner from SiriusXM. Let's start off with taking a look at some of the cool features that we can do with the replay mode, tune scan, and tune mix. So right now you can see we're on Sirius XM uh, band number one. That's six radio station presets right here. And I can touch any of the buttons here to switch to those different radio station presets. And I can also go over here to the replay mode. So look down here, when I touch the replay button, you see this changes into a scrubber bar. And you can see that we're about 31 minutes into our buffer on replay mode. So right now, uh, I can touch the scrubber bar and I can drag this back to a different part of the song or a different song completely. Or I can drag this a little bit forward again if I want, wherever I want to be. And I can hear different songs uh, play at different times in the buffer. And you can see right now we're about uh, almost 25 minutes into the buffer area. If I want to go back to live music on any channel, just touch the live button. And that switches me back to that same channel and the live broadcast. Let's check out Tune Scan and Tune Mix. So let me touch my buffer again. I'll look at my replay. You can see that right now I've got about 35 minutes in the buffer. I'll go back to live music here. And if I touch the Tune Scan button right here, I'm going to hear a short preview of each of the songs that's available on my six radio station presets. So here I'm hearing a short preview of this song for about five seconds. Then it will jump back in time in the buffer and let me hear a short preview of the next song that's available. And we'll work through all of the radio station presets on the next song available. If I hear a song that I like and I would like to play that song, all I have to do is touch the play button right here and we're playing that song. Now if I check my replay button here, you can see that I dropped back to about 22 minutes in my buffer. I'm going to touch the live button again. Now let's check out tune mix. If I touch the tune mix button, what will happen is I'll hear a complete song from the buffer from these uh, six radio station presets. After that song is complete, the system will advance to another song in the radio station presets all played back from the buffer. Let's create a radio station preset on Sirius XM. Uh, I have my radio station presets here available and you can see logos from each of the channels that are available and you can see that we're on Sirius XM uh, band number one. If I slide this down like this I can switch to Sirius XM band number two and I can slide this one more time and there's Sirius XM band number three. Another way that I can do that is I can touch the SXM uh, band right here to switch to um, band number two and I have my six different radio station presets I can switch to band number three there and then I also have my featured uh, tracks or featured radio stations uh, that are available and the featured list is provided by Sirius XM and it rotates on a regular basis to help you discover new channels and new tunes so to create a radio station preset I'm just gonna go to one of my Sirius XM bands we'll go to number one here and I'm going to tune in a different channel. To tune in a different channel, I have a number of ways to do this. I can just touch the arrow button here. That will give me a different radio station. Or I can touch the, cha the channel number itself and open up a keypad. And I can put in a number, for example, 24, and hit Enter to go directly to 24. I can open the search button over here and I can choose a category uh, for example jazz standards and classical and we'll scroll down here to uh, Symphony Hall once we're on Symphony Hall all I have to do is press and hold a, a number for a few seconds when I hear that beep we've created radio station number five um, um, Symphony Hall as radio station preset number five on Sirius XM number one over here is my traffic and weather information if I touch that I have no city selected right now for traffic and weather, so we can scroll down here and look for a city for me. I want to have Pittsburgh on my list, so I'll hit the X here. When traffic for your selected city is available, here's the preset. You just touch that. It takes you directly to traffic for your selected city. 
we can go back. Let's check out some of Sirius XM settings. We'll touch the uh, gears up here and we want to go to the toolbox and then AV source settings. Let's scroll down here until we find the Sirius XM settings and press enter. Here we can have tune start turned off or on and tune start means that every time you touch one of your radio station presets uh, the song will start from the beginning after you've had your car running for five or ten minutes or so on the Sirius XM source. Every time you touch one of your radio station presets that song will start from the beginning. Uh, Sirius XM has uh, adult content. If you would like to lock that content out so uh, certain people can't hear it, you can put in a parental lock and you can lock certain channels out of Sirius XM. The featured favorites on the fourth band is available. We can switch that on or off here if we want. And we can have a message available to us when the uh, Sirius XM programs have changed on the favorites we can be uh, updated and let us know that that has changed. Sports Flash here is on or off. With Sports Flash you can get information about your favorite teams and here we can select the different cities that we'd like to have information about. We'll go back up. Next here we see Sirius XM reset and you can see that that is grayed out. If at any time you need to reset your Sirius XM tuner back to its factory defaults you can do that by switching the, the uh, Sirius XM source off. So we're going to go to a different source, for example, HD radio. Let's touch the gears and we'll go to our AV source settings and then Sirius XM settings. If we scroll down to the bottom, you see Sirius XM reset. And if I touch restore, this will take the tuner back to its factory settings. We'll hit the X to escape and go back to Sirius XM.